Last week in Barcelona, Microsoft released the consumer preview for Windows 8, also known as the beta version. Acer have given us an S3 Ultrabook to test Windows 8 and see how it actually works with a mouse. And I think you're gonna find it quite interesting the way the mouse works using the Windows 8 interface. Let's have a look at it now. So here's Windows 8 um, on an Ultrabook from Acer. And it's actually surprisingly uh, easy to navigate yourself around this tile-based system with a mouse. I'm gonna show you some of the uh, tricks and some of the things you can do right now. Uh, first of all, if you've got a scroll on your mouse, it's very easy to uh, navigate around the uh, horizontal scrolling. So if you've got a fairly a large amount of icons, very easy just to use your scrolling mouse here like this. Now, if you wanted to move around those groups, we simply go into what's called a hot corner, and there's four hot corners here, and I'll show you what each of them does. So the first hot corner over here miniaturizes your groups and allows you to start mucking around with them. Move them around in terms of priority. You can uh, bring them back up again and then start moving around some of your uh, apps as well. So that's one thing you can do. Um, the next uh, hot corner is the top right hand. This brings up what's called charms. Now you would normally just slide your finger in. If you've got a tablet here, you bring your, bring your icon there and you can see when it turns black, it means that it's activated. We can go back to the start. If you're in an app at the time, uh, you can go into settings uh, for that particular app. Uh, or, and you can also use devices like monitors or use the search, which goes back to Bing. Uh, we can also go down to here uh, and this shows you the last place you're at. So there's um, there's a desktop, for example. We've got Chrome there. So if we just open Chrome up, we're going to be in the desktop here. Now, from here, usually on a tablet, you'd be sliding in, you'd be using your finger here to slide. Instead, what you do is use the uh, top left-hand corner and just click. And that will actually take you through all the different apps that are open right now. Now, if you want to see all the recent apps that are open, you simply drag your mouse down. You can see all the different apps here. So we bring up, for example, Solitaire. Now, if you wanted to have more than one open, so for example, you have what we might call Windows, uh, we simply drag this down and we can slide it across to either the left or the right hand side. So for example, we'll just slide it to the left and now we can still play that, still functional. We've got this big space here. We simply go back into the left hand corner and start flipping through till we find uh, the app that we want to actually use. So that shows you how you can do some multitasking. Now we can then actually swap that around and bring this out so that the right hand app is now uh, the panel on the right hand side and you can keep fishing that around uh, and now that will continue to, to uh, move while that app panel over there is fixed so it's quite um, quite easy quite intuitive to use i've got to say um, i'll give you an example of the scrolling we go into uh, shop store here we'll just close this the way you play with it is just to move it to the right and full screen just use the scroll bar and you can see how easy it is just to navigate yourself back and forth, left and right, across here. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Okay, from um, if you wanted to close apps, uh, we do similar to what we do when we're on a tablet. There's a hand that comes up, you simply grab it, and then you bring it down, and that actually closes the app. So next time you come over here to the corner, you won't actually see it there anymore, it's gone. And you can do that for each of the apps that are still currently open. Um, now the desktop is going to be quite important for um, uh, for people that are using mouse based because predominantly if you're in an office or uh, if you're using productivity based then your time will be spent uh, on the desktop uh, and everything pretty much works just like a normal desktop if you bring open a folder here you'll see uh, that there is uh, a file library system very similar to Windows 7. The only thing missing of course is the little uh, start button. Now that's simply apps that are pinned there. The desktop is actually more like an app now. It sits within uh, Windows 8 as a, as a separate area. Uh, so that's really a basic uh, look at uh, how uh, Windows 8 works with a mouse. Very easy to use. You can see here it's actually quite quick to use. And of course using an Ultrabook, uh, you expect it to be quite quick as well. Um, so if you wanted to turn it off, um, best way to do it will just be look up here. We could use physical buttons of course, but let's do it through here. Let's go to settings. You can see here there's a few settings. We've got wireless, um, volume, brightness, keyboard, power notifications. We'll just press power. We can choose to restart it, shut down or sleep. Let's shut down. There you have it. That's Windows 8 using a mouse.
Until next time.